Hi, my name is Soph and welcome back to my channel. So offers for Oxford and Cambridge are due to come out really soon. So I thought now would be a good time to answer the question, what if I didn't get into Cambridge? So there are kind of two ways this could have happened. So first way is that if I wasn't given an offer, what would I do? And if I missed my offer, what would I have done? So if I wasn't given an offer, then I would have firmed Durham. Um, although if I got four A stars on results day, as I did, maybe I'd have decided to reapply. Although the process is really draining, so realistically I probably would have gone to Durham and then applied to Cambridge for a master's or a PhD. Um, if I'd missed my offer completely, um, so I got my offer but then didn't meet it, um, I would probably retake um, as due to COVID and like A levels being cancelled, um, Cambridge has said basically if you miss your offer, you can retake, and then if you meet your offer once you've retaken, you can come for 2021, like September 2021. Um, so yeah, I probably would have just done that. How would I have felt if I hadn't got in? Honestly, I'd have been crushed because Cambridge had been my dream for so many years. And I put my absolute all into my application um, because I didn't want to, if I didn't get it, I didn't want to sit there and think, well, what if I'd just done this? Or what if I tried a bit harder? So I genuinely put my all into it. And then the idea that actually, despite having done that, that might still not be enough. That was really hard. Um... And thankfully, it didn't come down to that. On the open day, um, I spoke to one of the admissions tutors at Gonville and Keys, and he said that for every place that they have, there are two applicants that are good enough to take that place. But they've only got one space. So basically, for every person that gets in, there is another person who was good enough to get that place but they just don't have enough places so if you do get rejected there's a reasonable chance that you were that second person who was good enough but they just don't have enough spaces I mean yeah loads of amazing people don't get in and just because someone doesn't get in doesn't mean they're not intelligent and it doesn't mean that they're not going to do well like if you look at unjaded jade Jack Edwards, Ruby Granger, none of them got into Oxford. They all applied and none of them got in. And yet they are all doing amazing things. I mean, my physics supervisor did her undergrad at Warwick and is now doing a PhD at Cambridge. So, you know, you can definitely, if you want to, you can definitely move from a different university to Oxbridge. Um, equally, my DOS didn't go to Oxford or Cambridge for his undergrad and now he is very senior in the chemistry department so if it's something you want to do you can definitely go later on you don't have to go for your undergrad um and like both of them are amazing i think my physics supervisor is possibly the best of all of my supervisors and all of the others did do their undergrad at cambridge how do i feel about all of that now now that i have actually done a term um, ultimately, Oxbridge isn't everything, and I know at the time when you're applying, it really seems like it is, and I know that, like, coming from me, like, I did get in, and you think, well, you did get in, so, like, yeah, it's alright for you to say that, but genuinely, like, it isn't everything. Yes, it is different to other unis, but, like, it is intense, and it is really hard work. So, I mean, I feel like I'd probably have an easier time at a different uni, and I think I'd have more time to do non-university things. Um, if I didn't get in, I probably would try again for a master's or a PhD. Although, you know, maybe life would have taken me on a different path. And, you know, you don't have to go to Oxford to be successful. I think that's what I really want to get across. Like, so many successful people don't go to Oxbridge. It's not like if you go to Oxbridge, you're guaranteed success. 
because even once you get there it's still such an uphill battle with like the amount of work that you've got to do and everything. I suppose what I want to say is if you don't get good news on the day that offers come out it's really not the end of the world. There are plenty of other amazing universities and there are so many amazing people that don't get into Oxford that go on to do amazing things and if you really want to go you can go later on you can go for a master's or a phd or you can go do something completely different like unjaded jade did um there are so many more options and you know oxford doesn't equal success like it's definitely put on a pedestal and yes it is amazing and yes it is different but it is not essential so anyway best of luck to anyone who is um waiting to hear whether or not they've got an offer um, either way, I promise you things will work out okay in the end. Um, 